All right, Mr. Cash 22 here. Listen, like, comment, subscribe down below. Let's get this party started. Page 105, chapter 2, question number 9, Celsius to Fahrenheit temperature converter. And the question states, write a program that converts Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit temperature. The formula is as follows. Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5th Celsius plus 32. The program should ask the user to enter a temperature in Celsius and display the temperature converted Fahrenheit. Per usual, like I do, we break it down. First things first, it says write a program that converts Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit temp uh, Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit temperature. Formula is as follow. So this is what we know. This is what is given. So the program should ask the user to enter a temperature in Celsius. So rule of thumb, like I said, always make sure you write down what is given. So uh, we'll start first by saying um, the program should ask the user to enter a temperature in Celsius. So we'll start by doing that. Celsius, we'll make this a float, obviously. We'll say input. And then with this input, what we'll do is we'll say enter a temperature in Celsius. Okay. And then we'll close that. We'll make some room. So then we'll take that out of the picture. Then we also have to keep it in mind with this formula as well. That's going to come in handy. Uh, so we'll say Fahrenheit, which is equal to, and my favorite rule of thumb is since we're trying to follow order operation and all, and not to get any confused, you know, confusion. You should probably get comfortable. We'll start putting parentheses in t into these type of formulas, uh, because you know Python's only as smart as you want it to be personally. So then we'll use this formula to take in consideration, you know, Fahrenheit is 9, 9 fifth Celsius plus 32. And then it looks like it says, then print the temperature converted to Fahrenheit. So we'll do print and then we'll say the temperature. And then we'll put the comma and I can even blow this up so people can look and see better. Celsius. And then I'll put a parentheses right there. And then I'll use this degree symbol just to make this look appealing and fancy. And we'll say equals. And then I got this by just literally Google searching degree symbol and copying and pasting that for those who are curious. And then we can move that. Because then we'll also need to include Fahrenheit as well. And then we'll use a comma. And then degree symbol. So remove that. Cross that out. And it looks like it looks like we hit this on the nail. So yep, 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 yep. Yep, we answered everything that we needed and we used everything that was provided. So just to do our due diligence, uh, check our spelling. So Celsius equals the flow input enter a temperature in Celsius. Okay, Fahrenheit with the formula given and then printing that because we want to display the temperature converter to Fahrenheit. So it's going from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And also just to continue on and do our due diligence, we'll just Google search quick. 20 Celsius equals 68 Fahrenheit. Alright, so then when we run this and we put 20, that's exactly what we get. All right, and just to make sure that this isn't a fluke, we'll do this again, and let's say 30. So we should get something that looks like 86. Okay, so we'll type in 30, and then we'll run that, and we got exactly that. So the temperature, 30 Celsius equals 86 Fahrenheit. Man, that was nice. We hit it on the nail. So. Listen, like, comment, subscribe down below if you have any questions. Uh, like I said, feel free to just let me know. Give me a holler. Uh, we'll move on to question number 10. Uh, so please feel free to like, comment, subscribe per usual. So stay blessed, stay hungry, and keep learning. I'll catch you all in the next video.